some of members, most of the members in the room, welcome. Some of you aren't yet members, so I hope you'll think about, about joining us. I'm going to say just a little bit about the Association of Chairs before talking a little bit more about this event. Um, the Association of Chairs is approaching its second birthday, so we're still very little. I think sometimes we punch above our weight and people think we're, we're bigger than we are. So um, we really uh, value the support that our members and other supporters like us and GMS give us is essential to us. We were founded because we were aware that chairs didn't have consistent um, sources of support. And we felt it was really important that chairs have that opportunity. So we've got four aims. Our first aim is simply bringing chairs together. So here's an example of that, an opportunity for you to share experiences, talk about the of common concern. So in our first year, that's been quite an emphasis for us, and a lot of emphasis on events. The second thing is developing resources specifically for chairs, where that seems appropriate and useful. So last year we published our first publication, The Chairs Compass, and we are currently working doing the finishing touches to our next publication, which is on the Chairship Executive Relationship, which members will be able to get a free copy of. So our second aim is about resources for chairs. The third one is about professional development and standards, and that's a longer term aim for us, about as a community of chairs, establishing what, what does the chairman look like? And also want to have to be informed by research, as and when we can afford research. And our final aim, as we grow bigger and stronger and have a better understanding of what chairs want, is to be a voice for chairs. Sometimes chairs aren't as visible as we think they should be. So that's what the Association of Chairs is. Um, do have a look at our autumn programme. We've got an exciting programme of events. Um, some of you might be interested in the accounts in 60 minutes, what chairs need to know, which has been run from Kingston Smith in October. Do, do take a look. So turning now to this event, um, Top Custom GMS and Trustees Unlimited have been really supportive of us since, since the beginning. We talked about different events that might be held, and we thought actually looking at the law of influence is quite an important issue. It's one that people have raised with us. So for example, I um, was working with the board recently where they had a great succession plan for their chair but then very unexpectedly and very tragically the chair's daughter committed suicide and suddenly all his plans to be the next chair, the incoming chair, were out the window and suddenly they were struggling around looking for the chair. I spoke to another chair recently where their chief executive had died for the same way, something they simply hadn't planned for and found themselves again on the back foot from what we do now. I'm sure Ian and Jason will have plenty of examples, rather less depressing examples, <laughs> of where you might need an interim. And of course some of these things can be thought about in advance. But I'm just highlighting, you might be thinking, I'm not sure it's going to be relevant to us, but I think I think we'll find that there's plenty uh, to consider. We're really grateful for us to us and GMS for hosting this wonderful venue. And of course they're uniquely well placed to host this event for us. Us and GS, GMS are the longest established uh, interim uh, management company. They work across all sectors, but they have a very big not-for-profit practice. <coughs> also, of course, they are one of the partners in Trustees Unlimited. And our particular speakers today are Ian Joseph, who you've already heard from, who's joint ND here at Us and GMS, but also Chief Executive at Trustees Unlimited and is himself a trustee, as I can well. And we're hearing also from Jason, who's also a joint managing director uh, here at Russell GMS, and also uh, was former chair of the Income Management Association, and is also a trustee of MS. MS Society. MS Society. So, um, and we'll be hearing later, and Ian will do the introduction to Jim and Stanley as well, who's going to share his story. So, thank you very much for those things. Thank you. 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 Thank you.